Be, Father, we thank you. We know you're in this place right now, God. Father, we step out of the way and we make room for you to do what only you can do in this place, Lord. Father, all distractions, all the weight that we've been carrying, let them not feel like burdens, Father. I pray right now that the weight would be lifted off. God, we set the tone, set the atmosphere for this place, God. Father, we press in. It doesn't matter if we start off the first song differently, Lord. We break off all routine. We are going off schedule. We follow you. We're going to listen to your voice, Lord. Speak to us. Break off chains in this place. Move mountains, Father, that seem impossible. There's freedom in this place because you are here. There's joy in this place because you are here. And most importantly, importantly there is love in this place. There is love. And that can go a long way, Father God. Your love, Lord, your love. That's what the first song is talking about, is your love, Father, the endless, unconditional love. We thank you, Lord. We thank you in this place. We worship you, Lord. Be glorified. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. There I saw death. There you saw life. You ran to my rescue. Can wrap my head around the cross. How far you would go for me. The sacrifice, it cut so deep. Your wounds are my healing, and mercy's cry so bittersweet. The sound brings me to my knees. I'm lost in 
where the spirit of the Lord is. There is freedom. There is freedom. Hey, where the spirit of the Lord is. There is freedom. There is freedom. Come on, come out of the dark, just as you are, into the full. Into the fullness of 
a shout. Hallelujah. Thank you for freedom, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know, before I got saved, the, the word freedom is what drew me to my salvation. I literally was just broken and lost in my sin. I was dealing with major panic attacks, fear, anxiety, depression. I was a mess, and I had no hope in my life. And I got a flyer on my door in my apartment in Colton, California that said, he who the sun sets free is free indeed. Come hear how this man of God got set free from drugs and gangs by the power of God. And I was like, I didn't know there was any power of God. I only knew religion. I didn't know anything about the power of God, but I'm here to tell you tonight, there is freedom. God's power, God's presence is in this place. And so we can dance, we can lift our eyes to heaven, we can be absolutely free, free from fear, free from depression, free from sickness, free from darkness, free from addiction. Freedom! Freedom is here! Freedom! We just have to grab hold of it and believe God. And tonight I'm going to pray, and in just a moment we're going to open these altars, we're going to have our prayer team up here to pray for anything, any needs that you might have. But right now, I want to pray over us, and I'm going to pray for freedom in every area of our lives. Freedom from drugs, freedom from depression, freedom from fear, and freedom during this time where everybody is, is concerned about this coronavirus and the flu. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over us as the body of Christ and believe God that none of us are going to be affected by the flu or the coronavirus. And those of us that may be suffering already at home, that those symptoms are going to go. Because I want to take God at his word. And God says he is Jehovah Rapha, our healer. And so we're going to believe God for that tonight. So, Father, I just plead the blood of Jesus over this congregation tonight, over all that they love, God, over their children and their children's children, over their parents, over our families, God. We plead the blood of Jesus. And we thank you any virus that has a name, influenza, coronavirus, virus whatever they want to call it oh lord it won't come near your people cover us god in your blood father we we just we call you out right now and god we claim your word we are your children and this is our bread health and life in abundance so heal us oh lord and we will be healed save us god and we will be saved we thank you father for health and life and freedom in every sense of the word so father we thank you there is nothing that we are in bondage to. There is no name that we are under other than the name of Jesus Christ. So any other name that tries to attach itself to us, we rebuke you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, Jesus, you died on that cross. You bore those stripes on your back for our healing. You died for our salvation. You died for our freedom. You died for our peace. And God, we receive every bit of it, and we thank you for it now. Come on, give him a shout. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. It's our bread. It's your children, and we thank you. So we're going to continue to worship. These altars are open. If you want to come up here and just worship, or if you need prayer tonight, God is in this place. Whatever you need, let's grab it. Let's take it. Those of you that heard that message on, seize it. It's ours. The kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent, the strong, the zealous, the passionate, the ones that have faith, oh, we're going to take what belongs to us. And I say, fear, you have to go. Sickness, you got to go. Depression, you got to go. Suicide, you got to go. That is not our portion. That is not our portion. So I love you so much, and I just, I pray that we're going to rise up as the people of God. Take hold of what God came to give us. Amen. Let's continue to worship him. The power of God is in this place. I feel like we just need to shout. Like, we just need to shout it out. We just need to shout it out. We just got to shout out. what you need this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know, Leon. Hallelujah. See freedom reigns in this place. Then showers of mercy and grace. They are falling on every face. There is freedom. Lord Jesus reigns in this place. Then showers of mercy 
and grace they are falling on every face there is freedom there is freedom there is freedom oh, there is freedom sing jesus reigns in this place and showers of mercy and grace they are falling on every face there is freedom sing Jesus reigns in this place and Jesus When we come, there is freedom. Oh, there is freedom. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for freedom, Father, in this place today. You are the way maker. You are the miracle worker. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
When they said today the plane has landed, the virus is here, but my God still reigns. <laughs> my God still died on the cross, and he lives, and he lives, and he lives, and he lives today. And he lives inside of me, and he resides inside of me. And I'm so sick and tired of the enemy coming and robbing us short. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. My way maker, my miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I can't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. Tell him. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I can't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't feel it, even when I don't feel it, that's a big thing because we go by our feelings sometimes. We just got to see it. We got to see it so we can see it before we can see it. Amen. Thank you, Father. Church, are you grateful for what he's done? Are you grateful that he's the way maker? church as usual, sing a couple of songs, feel good, or we can press in. Amen. I've heard someone say, I just want to be in his presence. You know, I, I want to let you know, God wants to fill you, but he doesn't fill you just to, so you can feel good. You know? He doesn't, fit, he doesn't show up just to show up so you can bask in his glory. His presence fills you up for service. And, and if I'm not going to go do something for him, why would he want to just fill me up? When the disciples got filled, they were filled for service. They were anointed for service. They were filled up to go and be the hands and feet. The Holy Spirit came upon them so they could be empowered, could go be the hands and feet. Not just, not just be in his, in his presence. Come on, right? Because it's nice to just be in his presence. But you know, the disciples didn't be in his presence. They went in his presence, got the power of the Holy Spirit, and then went out and laid hands on people. They went out and ministered to the sick. They went out and they were his hands and feet. And, and so today I want to encourage you right now. I believe it's important for you to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because to be filled with the whole, and, and it wasn't when you got filled. It's when was the last time you've been filled. Because the disciples got filled when Jesus breathed on them and said, be filled. And then in Acts chapter 2, they were filled. And then in Acts chapter 4, they were filled. They kept getting filled again and again. Why? Because we leak. <laughs> and, and, and because when it says be filled, it's, a, it's an ongoing. It's an ongoing. Uh, it's like a, a river of life. It just, 
it's like a it's like a fountain of life just wells up inside and god wants to fill you with the holy spirit so this is what we're going to do we're uh, going to open these altars in just a moment while we sing this song and barry pastor barry's going to be up here heather's going to be up here i'm going to be up here uh, our prayer team's going to be up here and i want you to come up and we're going to lay hands on you so that you can be filled with the holy spirit amen and if we lay hands on you, we're going to believe, God, that you're going to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You're going to begin to speak in other tongues. And the Holy Ghost is going to come upon you. The Word of God says this. It says in, in, in 1 Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians, it says, Forbid not speaking in tongues. Forbid it not. You know, some people say, well, I don't agree with that. Well, the Word of God says that. It says, don't forbid that. It says, allow that to continue. And it doesn't matter where you come from, what background, you know what? It doesn't matter. God wants to fill you. And I don't know about you, but when I got touched by God, I, too much was never enough. Amen. I wanted all that God had for me. Amen. You know, a dab will do you when it comes to the hair gel, but a dab won't do you when it comes to the Holy Ghost. Amen. I want it all. Amen. So as we worship him right now, I want to encourage you to come out of your seat. Come to the front. And, I, and we're going to lay hands on you to be filled with the Holy Spirit. But before we do that, let's bow our heads. I want to make sure you're okay with Jesus. I want to make sure that you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. To make sure that you're born again. And then Rob's going to sing this song. And as he sings that song, we're going to lay hands on you. But before we do that, we're going to give you an opportunity to receive Jesus as your Savior. The Word of God says you must be born again. And born again is surrendering all of your heart and all of your life to Jesus. So today... If you want to do that, according to Romans 10, 9, that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Christ rose from the dead, you shall be saved. For with the mouth we confess and with the heart we believe. And today is your day of opportunity. Say this with all your heart. Say, Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sin. I believe you died on the cross. You rose from the dead to give me a new life. In Jesus' name. I repent of all my sins. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, we want to welcome you to the family of God. Amen. The second thing we're going to ask you to do when, when, as you come up here, this is what I want you to do. You're going to have to forgive those that have hurt you. See, the Word of God says not to grieve the Holy Spirit. Grieving the Holy Spirit isn't letting the Holy Spirit do what it's thinking. No, 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 that's not what the scripture says. Ephesians says grieving the Holy Spirit is, it's talking about loving one another, forgiving, not holding grudges. That kind of stuff grieves the Holy Spirit. So we got to get our hearts right, saying, you know what, if somebody's hurt me, got to let them go. Listen, having unforgiveness is like drinking poison and wishing the other person would die. It's letting them go and saying, you know what, yeah, they hurt me. Forgiveness doesn't mean you're okay with what they did. It's just letting them go and not having that control in your life. And then I want you to come up and I want you to have us lay hands on you. As the Word of God says that when they laid hands on the disciples, laid hands on the, on the people, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the, as the Holy Spirit gave them utterance. Amen? And, and so I want to encourage you, even if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, come and get a refreshing. The Word of God says it's a refreshing. Repent and let the refreshing of the Holy Spirit come upon you. Amen? Are you guys ready? Amen? Because there's a big world out there, and there's a lot of stuff going on. We need to have all the power that's available to us. Amen? Amen. Come on, let's worship him. Mary, Heather, uh, if, if, I'm not sure if Felix is here in our worship prayer team. And let's, let's believe God for these. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you, and I worship you. You are here, working in this place. And I worship you, and I worship you. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you, and I worship you. You are here, working in this place, and I worship you, 
stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working and even when I don't see it you're working and even when I don't feel it you're working you never stop you never stop working you never stop you never stop working and even when I don't see it you're working and even when I don't feel it you're working you never stop you never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. And even when I don't see it, you're working. Oh, even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. Yeah. And way back, a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, oh, that. And we make a miracle and a promise keeper. No light in the darkness. And my God, and that is who you are. You are, oh, oh. And we make a miracle 
Tonight, if you have any, any, I just feel like there's somebody in here. I sense in my heart that there's somebody here. You have pain, but it's from like an old injury. Like either it was a car accident, a motorcycle accident, something happened that, that happened and you're okay. You, you, you um, recovered, but there's pain that still comes, especially when it's cold outside. You still feel that pain that just comes and you take medication to make it go away but I believe God wants to take that phantom pain away he wants to take that old scar pain away that scar tissue heal that right now if that's you would you raise your hand anyone here anyone here amen praise God amen 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 father and go and just lay hands on where uh, on the part of your body that's hurting we're going to pray for you, Father, in the name of Jesus. I thank you for your healing power. I thank you for your healing power in the name of Jesus. I bind that pain. I command it to leave. I command it to leave right now. I command, I command your body to be acceptable, susceptible to the healing power of God in the name of Jesus. Every tissue, every organ, every muscle, every tendon, every bone in your body be healed right now in Jesus name right now in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus now don't look for the pain I want you to look for the healing amen I want you to begin to look for the healing amen there's a supernatural outpouring of God's spirit amen and, and I'm here to just encourage you to stay in that bask in that and be excited about but those that got filled with the Holy Spirit, if you got touched with the Holy Ghost, would you lift your hand, anyone? Amen. Now, he didn't fill you up to give you Holy Spirit goosebumps. He didn't fill you up just to make you feel good for today. He filled you up with his power so that you can be the hands and feet to touch hearts and lives. So that you can go and you're going to encounter someone. You're going to meet someone that maybe they're sick in their body. You take that, I, I, I'll, I'll tell you this story. I had a gentleman come to me and he, 
he said to pray for him because his his brother was on the on his deathbed that the doctors only gave him a couple of days to live and he asked me to pray for them for him for his brother and I said no I'm not gonna pray for your brother I'm gonna pray for you and then you're gonna go and lay hands on your brother and he's gonna get healed so I said put your hands out and he put his hands out and I put my hands on his hands and I said in the name of Jesus I command his body to be healed in Jesus name and I said and I told him now take this and go see your brother he was going to go visit him that day and he, he walked away like this you know I was like well how's he gonna drive the car holding his hands like that but but he walked away holding like he didn't want to wash his hands or anything he I didn't know anything what happened after until about a week later he saw me in the hallway and, and, and he called me and he said pastor Tom I need to tell you something and I said what's going on and he says I did what you told me to do I went and I laid hands on my brother and my brother is now home with his family completely healed and so I'm here to let you know that you get touched by the Holy Spirit not just to speak in tongues, not just to have some nice feelings. You get touched by the Holy Spirit. See, Jesus told his disciples, don't do anything. Don't go anywhere until the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and the power that they're going to receive is you. And then he tells them, go into all the world, preach the gospel, lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Preach the good news and they'll be saved. And as soon as Peter got filled with the Holy Ghost, he preached and people got saved. Then they were walking and they saw a man and Peter and John and he said on to the poor and they said and the guy didn't even ask for prayer he was asking for money he wasn't even asking for prayer and he said on to the poor they looked at him and they said silver and gold have we not but that which we have we give unto you and they didn't even pray for him they just said this is what we have we give it to you in the name of Jesus rise and walk and they grabbed him by the hand and they lifted him up and he was completely healed by the power of God amen that's why you get touched by the Holy Spirit that's what you want when and when you activate get activated and you begin to do those things whoo, watch out because you get God's attention he goes oh fill him up some more I like what I see there amen see I hear I, I, I sometimes hear people say I just want the Holy Ghost I just want the Holy Ghost but they're not doing anything God empowers you for service and every one of us are encounter people every single day that needs to be touched by the Spirit of God amen and I've seen it in my own life I continue to see it today people have asked me Pastor Tom why don't we see miracles like we they had in the back in the day and in the New Testament and I always look at it and say I see them because I'm touching amen I'm laying hands I, I see someone I lay hands on them amen I'll be in the waiting room at, at the doctors and I've done it and I've done it a million times I'll just look at everybody and say I just start walking around hey you need prayer hey you need prayer hey I can lay hands on you you'll get healed and people they'll trip on you <laughs> but trust me they don't want to wait in that waiting room any longer amen and, and God will touch them and heal them and deliver them all it takes is just that simple step of faith and if you feel timid that's not me I'm not I'm not I'm not bold that's okay because there's a Holy Ghost for that too because when the Holy, when the disciples got intimidated and they were getting persecuted, they went back to the upper room or back to the room that they met and they, and they said, Lord, look at their threats. And the Bible says they were filled with the Holy Spirit and boldness came upon them. Amen. So you say, man, I, I, I'm a little timid. I, I, I'm, I'm not comfortable with that. It's okay. You know, just ask God to fill you with the Holy Spirit with boldness, man. You'll be a lightning bolt for Jesus. Amen. You'll be lit up for Jesus. That's what he wants to do for you. Amen. Come on, let's give him a praise today. Let's glorify him. Amen. Do we, do we have another song? Are you going to sing? Come on, let's worship him. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Are you guys grateful? Are you grateful? Come on, let's worship. Amen. Come on, guys. Are you grateful this, this uh, evening? 
Not only is our way maker, but he's our chain breaker. He's our deliverer. He's our strong tower. Come on, I can hear it now. Let's get excited. <laughs> This is the day that you have made. Whatever comes, I won't complain. For all my hope is in your name. And all your joy awaits my praise. I give thanks for all you have done. I want to sing of your and your love, your love is a failing, and Lord, I am grateful. Oh, I am grateful. When I was down, you brought me out. You set my feet on higher ground. So here I stand. So here I stand. You are my God, your faithfulness, my song. I give thanks for all you have done, and I will sing of your mercy and your love. Your love is a failing, and Lord, I, I give thanks, I give thanks for all. I won't forget all those battles you have won. Your love is in me. And Lord, I am grateful. Come on, let's just declare this tonight. And as we lift our hands up, heaven's open, heaven's open. So let our lives declare the love our God has spoken over us. And as we lift our hands up, heaven's open, heaven's open. So let our lives declare the love our God has spoken. Let's give a praise, amen. 